folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, there's been a large swarm of earthquakes up there on Cobb Mountain, Northern California. The largest being a magnitude 4.4. There was also a 4.2, a 4.1, and lots of threes. Um, in the last week, there's been 299 earthquakes that have occurred along this area. And then more recently, I noticed there was a 2.3. Again, this is close to the Makama Fault Zone. Um, Willits, a 1.1 and a 1.6 also near Willits, California. This here is uh, Ukiah right there. More than likely, these earthquakes are occurring between the Mercuryville Fault Zone and the Sulphur Creek Fault Zone. And here we got Cobb Creek. This is Cobb Mountain. This is the uh, geyser area. Here's another paper I found, but it's, yeah, really outdated with the research. It talks about um, the tectonic environment between the active Makama Fault Zone and the active Bartlett Springs Fault Zone. The modern-day geyser geothermal field is bound to the southwest by the inactive Big Sulphur Creek and the Mercuryville Fault Zone, and to the northeast by the inactive um, Colomi Fault Zone. There are no faults in or adjacent to the geysers, which are known to be active within the last uh, 15,000 years. Well, we can just see how many earthquakes we are now having because of the injection of the water. We got 91 earthquakes just within the last 24 hours in this location. Just about all of these earthquakes were caused and showed uplift. And that's because of the uh, water that they're pumping back into the ground for the um, thermal field. Here you can see the Sulphur Creek Fault, the Mercuryville Fault, and they all trend going north all the way up here and meet up with the Makama Fault Zone. The Makama Fault Zone is capable of having a magnitude 7, 7.5. Here's some information that I put on here so it would be easy for other to uh, find. Based on the relative length, a magnitude 7.5 earthquake are possible on either the Makama or the Bartlett Springs Fault. Um, such a quake could be devastating to the city of Ukiah, which sits right on the Makama Fault. Fault. The Makama Fault also deserves a bit of extra attention because of the southernmost extent um, into Santa Rosa. There is a step over with the Rogers Creek Fault because of their closeness or close proximity. It is possible that an earthquake originating on the Roger Creek Fault could rupture onto the Makama Fault or vice versa. And yeah, I noticed this through here. Let me show you again. Going to Google Earth. Yeah, it's along these two faults with which intersect with the Makama Fault. And up over here, this is the Makama Fault. Um, Ukiah. Um, yeah, Willits, etc. Um, this is where the earthquakes were um, seemingly traveling to the north along the Makama Fault after they had occurred over here. There we go. There's Ukiah. That would be this one or close to that one. It says Redwood Valley, California. And let me bring it in. You can actually see Ukiah right here. This here is the moment tensor ball for the magnitude 4.2. You can see we got spreading uplift. 281 people sent in reports that they felt this uh, 4.2. This magnitude 3.1, same thing, but it was actually a thrust earthquake. The magnitude 3.0, that was actually fault movement that they're showing here. And the magnitude 4.2 was actually felt all the way over to Lake Tahoe as an intensity level 2. And as far south as San Jose, um, intensity level 2. And then we'll get back up here to the mountain. We got intensity level 5 for Middletown. So who had the damage? Intensity level 5 means felt by most people, some breakage of dishes, windows, 
and plaster disturbance of tall object. Put your comments down below. How long did it last? There was no reports sent into EMSC. I really wish people would do that so we can know how long it lasted, the effects, did they feel dizzy, how did pets react, things like that. But no one did that. They will probably shut down pumping the water into the ground for the geothermal power plants. I hope so. But to think that they could trigger a larger earthquake is rather scary. Yeah, there is a lot of earthquakes up there lately. And fairly large ones. So always be prepared for a disaster. Yeah, you just don't know. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.